Yo, welcome back everybody. We are back for episode two of some VGC Iron Boffin taking on the VGC ladder. Uh, we ended on a very upsetting loss last time due to a crit, so that was not very fun. Uh, but we're gonna get right into another battle here with the same team. I'm gonna use the same team for a couple of these first episodes here. Uh, at least until I figure out whether it's like one long episode with a team or a couple short episodes with a team. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the VGC. I don't, we got a lot to learn. I have not played any restricted format VGC uh, since Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. So it's been a long time since I played with the Legends. So, but we're getting into it, man. Uh, man, this team absolutely hates Kira. And we got world champion Pachirisu on the other side though. So we gotta respect that. I have no idea what Monkey Dory wants to do. Gastrodon hates freeze dry. Uh, honestly, Kurum absolutely runs this team. Um, I need to figure out how to use. I've been using these guys, honestly. But honestly, uh, Poe looks terrible here. So we know we're not bringing that. And Cinderwar doesn't look very good here either. So this might be a game where we just throw in um, Friend and Billy here. Um, I'm just trying to figure out who I want to use here. I feel like we don't bring Billy because I feel like Billy is more of a Kyogre answer with um, it has moves. Let me look at the team sheet here. It's got Tailwind, Taunt, Bleak Wind, Storm. I feel like we're not using Bleak Wind, Storm without the rain. Um, but honestly, it's never a bad lead. Honestly, I'm Emma and Kiram White put on a ton of pressure right off the bat. We just need to play around the Terrapagos better because he is going to ruin my weather turn one. So actually what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lead the Incineroar and try to rotate into Emma. So maybe he'll terastalize and blow his um, his weather clearing early. Um, and then I think I'll bring Friend here. I don't know what Friend's gonna do, but I'm excited to bring Friend because we didn't bring Friend last episode and I wanna bring Friend. Ogre Pond's one of my favorite Pokemon in Gen 9 and I just, I just love it so much. I just love it. I don't know why, I just it's just a, such a cute little Pokemon. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited. I really like playing VGC. I'm excited to kind of do this kind of a series on YouTube. So Monkey Dory Gastrodon. Like I said, I have no idea what Monkey Dory is or wants to do. I know it likes to poison things. I have no clue. Like I said, I honestly have no idea what that thing's trying to do. I, can, I am so free to freeze dry that um, Gastrodon here. It's super obvious, but like, why not? So I'm just going to fake out and I'm going to make the easy play. I don't know what he wants to do. I have no idea what Monkey Dory wants to do. I've never seen Monkey Dory. I haven't even caught it in my game yet. That's how unbothered by Monkey Dory I am. Will I regret it? Let's find out. He has a little heart on his butt. That's kind of cute. It's like a little tramp stamp, but for Monkey. We have the. Oh, he fakes me out. Okay, so we're going to trade some fake outs here. And unfortunately, his Gastrodon's going to get a free Earth Power off on something, and that's going to suck. Muddy Water. Okay, that's not too bad. That could have been worse. Do no accuracy drops? Okay. Um, okay, so we'll do the same thing. Obviously, his monkey door is faster than my Incineroar. Um, I'm free to knock off here, but honestly, I think I just parting shot. I would really like it if he... Okay, so he goes for parting shot into Kiram. I, for one, am shocked, but honestly, four times super effective stab freeze dry into... Um, into Gastrodon should still knock out. And then I'm going to get a return parting shot with my Incineroar, so that's actually going to feel super nice. In comes Tarapagos. Tarapagos. We get his Terra Shift off. So if he terrestrializes that, obviously I'll lose my weather, so now is not a great time to send in Ninetales. Yeah, we do knock out the Gastrodon. Boom. See you later. Parting shot does not matter here. Four times super effective freeze dry. Kiram is a absolute beast. And we'll get a parting shot off on the turtle, so that's actually super cool too. I love the design of the turtle. I haven't used it yet. Again, I, I did catch it in my game. Um, I do love it. It is a beautiful Pokemon. Uh, but I haven't gotten to use it yet. And that's why I'm excited to use VG. I'm play some VGC because I'm going to get to use a ton of different Pokemon that I haven't gotten to use before. Um, do I want to send in the Ogre Pond here? Ogre Pond doesn't do anything if he terrestrializes because he's going to be a spread attack with the, the whatchamacallit. But honestly, does that super matter? No. I'm going to send in Ogre Pond. I'm going to send in the friend. Let's send in friend. Let's see what friend wants to do here. I want him to terrestrialize, so I'm free to send in Kiram. Um, I want him to terrestrialize, so I'm free to send in Ninetales and start to get um, my whatchamacallit going on. So he could definitely go for Protect here, and that's going to be annoying. So I'm going to switch right back out into Incineroar, get my Intimidates, 
Not that that's gonna matter, but I think I go for the spiky shield. I don't see any reason not to. Switch out of that. Say so he probably goes for a fake out into that again, so. I would not be surprised. Get an attack drop. See, I don't I, I, I should know what Monkey Doy wants to do. I saw it's a psychic type. But it doesn't really mean a whole lot for me at this stage. So he's psychic poison, I'm assuming. Goes for the party shot. Good play to not go for a um, fake out there. And just to immediately shift out. And he also did not terrestrialize his turtle. So I am not free to go into Nine Tails, which is annoying. I think the play would just be to go into Nine Tails so he feels like clearing it. And then um, he brings out the Arcanine. I love Arcanine. Again, another one of my favorite Pokemon. He goes for the Calm Mind. That's ter that's terrifying. Uh, so he is at neutral now, though, so that's nice. And I can go for a parting shot into that. And um, Ogre Pond's not in the worst spot. I could tear a fire here to not be scared of the thing at all. Um, Kiram also doesn't really care about this. Uh, this is a weird turn for sure. This is a weird turn. I'm going to parting shot into the turtle. And Ogre Pond... Do I dare set up a Swords Dance? That just seems really silly. That seems so aggressive. Right in front of the... What if I Terrasalize Terra Fire? Do I want a Terra Fire here? Yeah, send it. Send it! You know, we're in a send it kind of mood here. Let's get let's get Ogre Pond in here. I love this Pokemon. Like I said, this Pokemon is so cool. This Pokemon is so cool. I love this thing. Absolutely insane. And body aspect, I believe I get a, an attack boost. Yep, there's the attack boost. Perfect. I go for an IG, Ivy Cudgel. Uh, distorting type matchups. Okay, so that is that doesn't matter the first time, or, or that doesn't matter the second time. I forget how that works. That almost didn't matter, because I just did an insane amount of damage. Through a crit, that definitely matters. He goes for a Flare Blitz. That's a mistake, because that's going to not do very much damage at all. Into my ogre pond here. And we're gonna get a parting shift. Parting shot. And he went for combine again, and that does not matter because I'm gonna parting shot and take that away from you. So bold shot on his strat to set up. I'm definitely glad I did not set up. That worked out for me for sure to not set up there. Um I definitely don't know what to do with this Arcanine. I could send in my Kyurum to go for an Earth Power, which is not a bad play. I think that is my play, to be honest. I do have the Assault Vest, so that will help me a lot. I don't think his Arcanine has a lot to do with me, and Ivy Cudgel is going to take out the uh, Turtle if he stays in. And he has Lefties. I don't know if we, we just saw Lefties. Okay, so he's Combine Leftovers. I'm just going to throw off the Earth Power into his Arcanine, because why not? And I'll go for the Ivy Cudgel. I don't know if he protects with Terrapagos, and it doesn't matter if he does. Battle was canceled. GG, Ogre Pond putting on the pressure, too much pressure. I love how they take the time when the game ends to like take the turtle out of out of his terraform. So we'll take that all day though. You know, a forfeit win is a win. And we love that. Say so Ogre Pond was putting on a ton of pressure there, so we're happy about that all day. We'll take that all day. I will catch you guys when we get our next battle going on. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, we are back. And hey, we're facing a friend himself. He's got two genies. He's got a Gen 5 team already. He got freaking two genies and King Gambit. So King Gambit's kind of cool. King Gambit makes me want to bring friend really bad. Um, but Lando and Tornadus don't make me want to bring it really bad. Um, I hate Screamtail so much. Uh, Kiram absolutely bodies the Water Ogre Pond. So that's actually super nice. Uh, we also have Earth Power to hit Glamora. And I could fake out Earth Power. I know that sets up two layers of Toxic Spikes, but I do also have Terra Poison on Kiram if I would try to soak those back up. Glamora is such an, a nuisance. Um, granted, Poe can also take that out. I could put on a lot of pressure with Poe. If I lead something like Poe Kiram, that puts on an insane amount of pressure onto this guy. Um, what's my best answer for Screamtail? I actually don't know. King Gambit's kind of scary because of e the... Um, it's not contrary. It's not, it's whatever the, I forgot what it's called, Defiant. So I don't really want to bring Incineroar. Incineroar doesn't even do a lot this game anyway. 
Um, I could bring Billy. Billy's good for the flying type here. I kind of will. Br I will bring Billy. It's gonna be a weird setup. I don't really know what to bring here. Do I want to bring my Ogre Pond? No. This is gonna be a weird. I don't really know what I'm doing on this one, but we're just <laughs> we're phoning this one in. Let's just send it and see what happens. Let's hope for the best. Um, I could fake him out by going for a U-turn right off the bat with Urshifu and sending in Nine Tails to go for a Blizzard. So that's actually not a bad strat because then he may be not be scared right away. But let's see. Let's see what we can do. Do da do da. Screamtail and Glamora. Okay. God, I hate Screamtail. Uh, obviously, he's very happy with himself because he led the Screamtail into me here. Um, I do want to switch out. I don't particularly want to be in against Screamtail with. He has photosynthesis. What do you boost with that? Your speed? Okay, so you are fast. Um, I don't really know, for example, what Screamtail wants to do here. I'm also so free to just go for Surging Strikes. I'm so free to do that, but I could save it this turn. I'm just going to go for the U-turn and go for a Blizzard. Um, that could be a bad play on my end. Actually, you know what I'll do? We'll do this. Terra Poison Blizzard, because that's going to mess up the Screamtail for sure. Let's do that. I like that play. I like that play, to be honest. Does make me weak to um, Landorus if he brought it, but honestly, I don't think you bring Landorus to this game. You see Nine Tails and Kiram White. I don't think you bring Landorus. That doesn't make much sense to me. Goes for the Dazzling Gleam. Like I said, that's good. Oh, that hurts the Ashifu, but we need to hang on pretty good. And Kiram tanks it. So I think this play is actually going to work out pretty nicely for me here. And we're going to get a Blizzard off. But let's send in. He, there's no way he goes for Power Gem into Ashifu. That would make no sense. Uh, so let's send in the nine tails here. See, so now we get to spam a blizzard. And I like that. I like that a lot. Mortal spin. Does that just set up a layer of spikes for him? Toxic spikes. Oh, we just go. Okay, so that actually just gives him the poison. Does that hit both of my mons? Oh, he can't poison cure him, so. That is so much damage. God damn. That is a tremendous amount of damage. Um, honestly, I do want to go for the Aurora Veil, and I'm free to click another Blizzard. I don't think there's any way he beats this this turn. Goes for Disable. That's a really good play on his end. That's a very good play. I hate Screamtail. I hate it so much. But I do get the Aurora Veil up, so that is actually really nice as well. Um, I suppose right now my fear is that this thing is going to have... Okay, he's going to... Okay, but Ninetales, honestly, honestly, Ninetales did its job. Job done with Ninetales. Um, I'm just going to Helping Hand here. There's no reason not to. And I'll freeze dry the screen tail because it's so annoying. Hopefully his nine, or screen tail didn't protect. Goes for Encore. Perfect. <laughs> that works for me. That works for me. You thought. I hate screen tail. Literally one of my least favorite Pokemon. Totally not because I lost to it in a stupid fashion when I went to a regional. When I actually went to play competitive Pokemon, I lost to a stupid Screamtail for being stupid. Okay, so we knock it out, so that's good. Um, honestly, the Glamora is a problem because I've let it set up like a million things of... Uh, oh, okay. And Ninetales goes down here. Um, but I am free to send in my Urshifu here. Urshifu just comes in, to be honest. Urshifu comes in and threatens the Glamora. In comes King Gambit. Okay. So my new strategy here is actually just to... Um, I think I just... I, I close combat the King Gambit. I don't mess around with the King Gambit. He probably switches out, but... And I can just freeze dry. Freeze dry will knock out Glamora for sure. I don't, King Gambit is so slow here, and I have the weather up. Uh, is he going to be Terra? What Terra are you going to be? That could be a problem here, actually. I didn't consider you be a Terra. Terra Fairy. That's unfortunate. That was really... I should have just... That was unfortunate for Joel. Not a smart play on my end. Was with a Sucker Punch. Okay, that's fine. That still does a lot of damage. And I'm going to take out Glamora here as well, so that's going to be kind of nice. I did mess that up, though. 
I did not consider that his King Gambit would terrestrialize, which is a mistake on my end. I should have considered that. But we take out the Glamora, which is nice. Uh, does he set up Toxic Spikes with a special attack? No, so that's good. Kyurem's putting in a lot of work here. So he brings in Ogre Pond. And honestly, he's probably going to go for like a follow me. So I'm actually just going to throw off. I'm going to leave King Gambit alone, which could be a mistake. I'm just going to double into it. I don't need to double into it. I could switch out of Urshifu. But what does Urshifu do for me at this stage? Literally nothing. Urshifu doesn't do anything for me here. So I'm going to just close combat. Can I click Blizzard yet? I don't know how Disable works. I could switch out of Kyurem. I'll just double in the Ogre Pond. He spiked his shields, but you can't protect in front of Urshifu, so I'm gonna get the damage off. So that's really nice, actually. I don't know what his King Gambit does here. I didn't think he would protect in front of me. I thought he would go for like a follow me, was my prediction. Goes for Iron Head. Still does nothing. Dude, Kirum is a beast in snow. Okay, the snow stops. As I say, he's a beast in snow. No longer disabled. <laughs> Thanks for letting me use Blizzard now, game. Okay, so we're going to be able to take out the Ogre Pod. And we just freeze dry the King Gambit. Sucker Punch is not going to do enough. We close combat. This is going to be an easy GG. We were pretty much in the Urshifu Kyurem lead put us in a really strong position. And I also think the Terra Poison was a pretty good play. I think that made it so the Screamtail could not put on as much pressure as it wanted to. I know it was super annoying what it was doing, but I don't know if this is going to knock out, but there's no way he wins this. He does not win this. There's no shot. GG! GG! Two dubs on that one. We take that to the back baby dude we're playing it i feel like we played the team like really well here um using the bulk of assault vest and the snow on kiram is so powerful and honestly once you get the aurora bell up with nine tails you're kind of like all right nine tails did a job so i'm really excited for that i think we played that really well and i'm happy with that but hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you like the length of these videos i'm keeping kind of short you know two battles uh, you know, a little 15, 20 minutes each kind of day. Let me know if you like that. Or like I said, if you want something longer, I can go like three games or something like that. Let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm super excited to play this. I'll probably do one more episode with this team. And uh, maybe I'll try to find a new team to play. But catch you guys on the next one. Peace.